Good morning, everyone. Still over the Easter weekend, Easter Monday, still at it. Got a taxi from West Sussex to Heathrow this morning. I got a flight up to Newcastle to come and get this gem. A Shawson 720, nine speed automatic. This is on a 21 plate. So it has the newer engine at 2.3, 140 brake horsepower. And it's, this, as I said, the 720 model. Believe it or not, 402 miles. <laughs> so, as I said, this is the Titanium VIP 720 with a good sized garage at the rear. This is 7.2 meters long and is still three and a half ton. Bike rack on the rear and on the other side, you've got another sized garage door. But you've got the uh, Alloy wheels. And now you go into the lounge area with a big table, which flaps over to give it a massive lounge dining area. <clears throat> Most of the time you have that done. As the front, nine speed automatic, but this is pre the, on the nine speed, they did a newer version, which actually had a button at the end of the automatic stick there, but still makes it very good. Sat nav, sat nav reverse camera, multi-function steering wheel with cruise control and air conditioning in the charge points. Now I'm ducking because <laughs> I prepared the bed that drops down from the ceiling without me having to do it whilst filming. So. There is your first drop down electric double bed. It's got a little hump in it because I've stored the ladder underneath. Never forget the ladder. Your controls are down here. Now I love the 720 model. I had one in stock a couple of weeks ago and literally had people fighting over it. But this one beats them all because it just hasn't been used 402 miles. Happy days. So. Control panel, Robusto heating. You've also got the double opening uh, fridge freezer, which opens from that hinge. And this side, TV, if you're looking here, up there you've got your 4G Wi-Fi, where you put your SIM card. And that was your aerial at the back there. And then we're going to the rear. Kids are gonna love this. So, I've dropped down the bed, so it's double, it's a dub, it's a bunk bed. So you've got two single beds, and then you push that one back up when you're traveling or not using it. And then you can drop the level of this bed down into the rear garage. So at the moment, it's the highest point. So you can get more storage in the garage, which I'll show you in a moment. And obviously this comes down to that level right there. Anyway, moving forward into here. Got some great LED lights there. The only push ones. So basically the kids don't have a mess about with that and have their lights when they're reading the book on their iPads. Now, sectioned off from the main lounge. I do like this part. Great sized toilet area with cupboards, big vanity mirror, hello. Good sink, storage yet again. I'm gonna turn around and then you can see the shower pod, which has got the blue LED lighting in there. Nice sensible catch. All good. And then you have a wardrobe in here, which is massive. More than enough room, more than enough room. If you can fill that up and you need more space, you're taking too much with you. So, back into the main lounge and bedroom. Now, on the 720 model, they made this a five travel, five, six berth. It can do six people, but then they'd have to meet you there because you can only travel with five. So, underneath here, first bench, this lever here. Underneath the cushions here, a seat will fold up 
and that will have a headrest on it. So that's a forward facing single seat. Same again here, does the same. And then you've got a rear facing single seat that actually fixes here. And the backboard is actually in the garage, which I'm gonna show you in a moment, but it gives you an idea how they store everything away. Cause you're not always traveling with everyone. It might be just the two of you and it just ends up giving you a nice big long lounge great size table and don't forget these front seats do spin round as well so it is a huge lounge area and i do like the separation bit at the back even if you haven't got the kids with you it's just the adults going away you've now got a separation to the bathroom and toilet so you've got a nice amount of privacy when wanting to use the washroom is the controls here this is to drop down the double bed in the lounge this is to drop down the electric table it comes down lower and acts as part of the base to the other two berth and then this is the single bunk bed coming down from the ceiling there US usb charge points great oven grill this one's got two gas hob and hot plate but it's sensible, it's a nice size kitchen. Right, moving outside. Titanium VIP. So, in the garage. Always great fun doing it with one hand and filming at the same time. Right, see the grey one? That is the back piece, which has got locking points at the back. That becomes the backrest to the seat that's reverse seated. So it's looking back up the motor motorhome. There's your cushions for your bed on top of the table. And this leave a bit here, it's a winder. As I said, this will wind the bottom bunk down to about here, okay? So at the moment it's extended fully up. So it gives you the most amount of storage area. Well, there you can see on the runners, that's how far it will come back down. Everything's black brand new on this. It's 402 miles, as I said. It's got the option of the four bike rack as well. It's got 4G Wi-Fi setup, TV, and it is the automatic. It's got about 5,000 pounds worth of options on this one, which count up quite quickly. Only thing it could have done with, really, is DRL, DRL which is the day running lights, and it's just the chrome strip. But there you have it, a Shawson, 720 titanium vip nine speed automatic with 402 miles and it's on its way to four front motorhomes once i've driven back from newcastle that is all right guys hope you enjoyed it as usual please do subscribe give me a thumbs up gives me the uh, inspiration to keep on going and doing these movies for you movies these clips for you and here's your outside awning as well i hope you've enjoyed it Thank you very much. Give me a thumbs up. Cheers. Bye.